Hi everyone, and welcome to another episode of uh, C++ Crash Course. I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and today we're going to be talking about uh, two other parts of classes. So that's going to be constructors, and then uh, we're also going to talk about um, access permissions. So uh, as we kind of saw last time when we did classes, we said this thing public uh, in our class definition. So we'll go into what that means as well as what private means. So we'll go ahead and jump right into our interface for our class. And so this is going to be an extension of one of the classes we looked at last time. So uh, it's going to be the extension of the Vector2 class last time. This time we've just renamed it with uh, point. Uh, it's just going to be the same. And then uh, we'll have vector. So if we go down to, uh, oh, this is the implementation. So let's go to interface.h. So now we have this private and we have this public. So uh, what private means is that these variables or these methods may only be accessed within the actual point class itself. So some other person saying our main function, we wouldn't be able to access this double X or this double Y. Uh, and so this is re a really convenient thing if we have classes where we want to restrict who has access to what. Um, and then we also have a public. So public is says that anybody can access this from anywhere. So if I'm just in the main function, I can call update and I can also call print. Now, uh, uh, and so we have this the same concept within uh, a vector itself. With you know maybe we want to keep point private uh, and not them people not have access uh, directly to those values. And so instead, they have to go through some methods, right? So they have to go through maybe an update method. All right. Uh, so what are some other things? So let's talk about uh, constructors now. So what is a constructor? So when a class is created, um, if you don't specifically uh, have a constructor defined, it calls a default constructor. And this really is kind of the creation of that object. Now, we can, devo uh, we can define custom constructors that say when you make a new version of this object, you call this uh, this constructor, and it acts kind of like a function. So here, we'll have two constructors. So we'll have vector, which will take no inputs, and then we'll have another constructor that will take uh, a set of four points. So this would be the start point and the end point. So uh, this will be the default constructor, and this will be another constructor that we will call at another time. So, uh, and then we won't define a constructor for point. It will just use a, uh, it will use the uh, built-in or the automatic uh, constructor that it gets. So let's go ahead and look at the implementation. So in the implementation, we have a method for updating uh, point where it takes two doubles and it assigns it to its new uh, x and y coordinates. Uh, we have another print, uh, this time for each of the uh, points. Then we have a constructor for vector. So this says that with vector, if I don't uh, give you a uh, any arguments when I create a new object called uh, a new object of the vector class, it will automatically set the start points and the end points to all be zero. Now over here, we have another constructor. This time, if we make a vector with four arguments, we will automatically assign the start points and end points to these values. And then we have an update method that will just take four values and then assign those four values to the start points and the end points. And our print method will actually call uh, the prints within vector itself. So remember, we can't directly access uh, the x and y coordinates within each point so we have to go through the public method okay so let's go to the uh, uh, constructors and access.cpp so what are we going to do so we'll create a vector using the uh, default constructor so that one that will assign everything to zero so if we do this without any arguments or even any parentheses it will automatically call that default constructor then we'll create another vector that has a uh, We'll use the other constructor that takes four parameters, four doubles, and that it will automatically assign those to start and end points. Then we'll print out both and we'll see that vector one will be just zeros and then vector two will be this one, two, three, four. And then we will uh, we'll update vector one that was empty initially with five, five, and seven, seven, and we'll print it again. 
So let's go ahead and compile this. So first, we will make some object code out of our implementation. Right, and there's our implementation.o, and then we'll compile. Um, oops, so let's do dash o, uh, constructors and access, and then our output, or, and then for input, we'll put constructors and access and that object code. Compiled successfully. Now let's run constructors and access. And so here we go. So with the default constructor, we get a, uh, all zeros. When we use the other constructor, uh, it'll be one, two, three, four. And reminder, uh, we'll look at it just a, never mind. We'll just look at that just a second. And then we'll update it to five, five, and seven, seven. So going back to the actual um, interface.h. So it's important to note that with constructors, constructors have the same name as the class that they are in. So for a vector constructor, uh, it has to be also called vector. And both of these are called vector. They just have the constructors have different signatures, right? So we can't have multiple constructors of the same signature. So that's going to do it for today. As always, on the GitHub page, uh, if we go to C++ Crash Course and we go under uh, classes and then uh, constructors and access, we'll have all the files that we looked at today, such as constructors and access. And then if we look at the readme, we have all links to all the previous videos as well as the, re the related files. So I'm Nick from Coffee Before Arch, and I hope you have a nice day.